Hi, I'm John Hartley with Pure Air Environmental, and we're in a client's home today to talk about a very, very important topic, radon testing. Radon gas is a naturally occurring element in our atmosphere, and it builds up in, indoors to unhealthy levels. The only way to know if that is healthy or not is to do a radon test. And why is that critical across central Indiana? Because radon is elevated in all counties in Indiana especially the bands of central Indiana. Radon is a uh, decaying process from uranium deposits down in your substrate and in your soils, and it finds its way into your home through cracks and crevices naturally. It's a radioactive gas that is rising up, trying to get into the atmosphere. And as it comes up and into the home, it has no way to escape and no way to get out. So that's why uh, we test for radon levels to see if they're elevated or not and if you need a mitigation system. Radon is the number two cause of lung cancer behind obviously cigarette smoking. About 21,000 Americans die on an annual basis that have never smoked a cigarette a day in their life just due to radon induced lung cancer. Test your home for radon. Your subsoils change constantly over time, so you need to test every two years as recommended by the EPA because atmospheric and subsoil conditions are constantly varying and changing over time. Even if you have a radon mitigation system, while it was working fine two years ago, it may not be keeping up with the atmospheric and subsoil conditions that are currently active, so you need to test and test and test again. Testing is really, really simple. There's two ways that we can conduct testing for you, and these are both Environmental Protection Agency approved and endorsed. The first is a continuous radon monitor. It is a digital box that is going to measure the radon particulates that are floating in the atmosphere in this basement at a client's home. We always test on the lowest living level because you wanna be at the lowest below grade possibility. If you have a slab, we're testing on the first floor in your home. If you have a crawl space, we're testing above the crawl space. If you have a basement, as in today, we're down in the basement conducting this test. This box, you plug it in, you walk away. You come back 48 hours later, and it has to run for 48 hours to be a valid test. And you push the button, and it shows you the elevated radon levels for this particular property. It's 8.5 picocurry liters. The threshold for safety is 4.0 picocurry liters. So we're more than double the recommended threshold. In this particular case, this home would need a radon mitigation system to make it healthy indoor air. Another way to test is to do a charcoal canister which this is very simple for client deployment. They take the red tape and the lid off of the canister, they set it down in the basement on a table, and you walk away. Two days later, you come back, you put the lid back on, seal the red tape up, write your name, address, and serial number, the date, the time that you started and stopped the test. That's very important for the lab to do the analysis. You place it in the postage paid self-addressed envelope and it goes to a lab on the west side of town. And within a few days, you'll have your results and you'll know what your radon levels are. Regardless of what methodology you use, uh, just test your home and test to be safe because why play radon roulette? You only have one set of lungs. Keep them healthy, protect your family.